everybody, I'm Pat Pavelka, and we are here today to look at some specific things to help students with, can you guess? Questioning. So, you see these materials on the table here? No, oh, it's not a magic trick, sorry. This is what we're going to look at. It's hard in the classroom, many times, to get our students to ask thought-provoking questions. And it's also difficult sometimes for yourself to keep coming up with great questions. And you, children are in so many different books, if we can give them a repertoire and you a repertoire of high-level question prompts, and then you always have them here at your fingertips. So we have what we're going to call question cups. This is standing up in here because these are in the can. Or actually, not the can, the cup. Here's our when. So these are just the marbles that you would use in a vase to hold flowers up. You could use regular marbles. You could use dirt or sand if your children can behave. So you have to decide what's going to be best to put in here. You basically want something so that you can just, boom, put your sticks in and they'll stand. So in each of these cups, we've got the why, the where, the when, the what, are tongue depressors. And on these tongue depressors are questions, open-ended, go with any book, any level, any story that correspond to your question. So for example, these are two what questions. What would happen if, dot, 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 that's the what question. Can you see what's going to happen with no marbles in it? So we're going to leave it on the side here. What do you think about dot, dot, dot. Where does the character get his inner strength? That's a where question. Where did you learn a life lesson and why? There's a where. Compare and contrast the setting to where you live. Another where. So all of these cans, when you're done, will have a lot of tongue depressors and there are all your open-ended questions to go with any level, any story, and boy, are you going to be able to ask these questions fast. Sometimes I can't think fast enough and I need to ask a question. There's my question. Also, you'll see a big carryover into your students using thought-provoking questions because what you could do is assign these. Pass these out to the kids or they each get to pick a question, go back to their seat, come up with an answer, come up with a question, all different things. So, for a little bit more information, you have two downloads available. One download is going to say question cups. That's where you're going to see a picture of the cups so that you actually have this visual. The second page are going to be some open-ended questions to put in some of the cups. So, thank you for spending time with me today and have fun asking those questions.